In our last video, we integrated Tomcat with Eclipse. In this video, we're going to make a new dynamic web project that we're going to deploy in Tomcat. And so I'm going to say new, and then I'm going to say dynamic web project. We need to give this a name. I'll just call this plant places. Uh, use default location, target runtime. Everything looks good. I'll go ahead and choose next. Uh, all looks good. A dynamic web project, as opposed to a static web project, uh, allows us to use Java, the Java programming language, to write the project. So source folder looks good. Um, we'll go ahead and generate the deployment descriptor and choose finish. Okay. So plant places, we see it has the J in the little world, the World Wide Web icon. I'm going to expand this, and we'll give it a moment to think here. Web content, web INF, web XML. Web XML is the deployment descriptor, which describes this web application. If I double click on it, we'll see over here we have a display name, which is plain places, and then welcome file list. This is the order in which it's going to look for files to show when we hit this URL directly. So let's make a very simple index HTML. I'll right click on web content. I'm going to say new and then just HTML file. And uh, let's call this one index.html. Okay. And next. Uh, sure. We'll go ahead and start with this template for HTML5, or we could use uh, HTML, uh, XHTML strict if we want. You know what? Actually, let's do that. Let's do it XHTML strict. Okay, and finish. So that will put some of the overhead tags in for us. Title, insert title here. I'll simply say, uh, okay, plantplaces.com. And then body, I'm going to say H1. And then we'll say welcome to plantplaces.com. Not a whole lot to show right now, we just want to make sure it works. So I save, and I confirm I have build automatically turn on, turned on. I'm going to right click my server now, and I'm going to choose add and remove. Now you see, as opposed to last time, now we have this Plant Places app. I'm going to go ahead and deploy, and choose finish. Okay, it says publishing, and if we take a look it says synchronized. It says it wants to restart. Let's see if we're going to need to restart it or not. We'll keep the local host 8080 and then we're going to put in a slash. Now we can deploy multiple web apps to Tomcat, so we have to see what the name of this one is because naturally each of them is going to have a different name. I double click on Tomcat, I select modules, and you see the path is slash plant places, capital P, capital P. Auto reload enabled, everything looks pretty good. Uh, but that slash plant places is what's important because that's what's going to come after the 8080. So slash plant places and enter. And it says uh, resource is not available. So I'm going to go back to Tomcat. Because this is a new application, we might need to go ahead and restart it. Uh, I will go ahead and choose restart. Give it just a moment there to restart. Stop. And looks like it started and synchronized. Let's try one more time. Okay, and you see now I refresh. Welcome to plantplaces.com. Uh, it's loaded and deployed, and it looks like we have success. So at this point, we can uh, continue to move forward with our web application. It's a static web application right now because it just has this web page, but because we did create it as a dynamic application, uh, we certainly do have the opportunity to put in Java classes and make it a true web application, which is going to be a lot of fun. Now, it's probably not a big surprise, but uh, Eclipse isn't necessarily the prettiest place to do HTML work. It's you know it's it's essentially a text editor here. Uh, Eclipse though is full of plugins. If you want to explore some of them, uh, you can go to uh, help and then the Eclipse Marketplace and you can search around for plugins there. Uh, undoubtedly you'll find some good HTML plugins. Additionally, uh, you could also write the HTML in an external editor, something like Expression Web, and then simply copy and paste the text here into Eclipse. Either way is fine. 
Uh, but we just, for this video, we simply want to make sure that we can deploy an app uh, in, the, in the embedded Tomcat, which we have proven out that we can. So sure enough, here you go, Web Tools, HTML Editor for Mars. Um, that one looks handy. It looks like that one's already installed as well. So uh, several different options that we can look at here. But nonetheless, we have met our objective. We have been able to create and deploy an app. And we see the plantplaces.com and welcome to Plant Places. Uh, we're now ready to go. In our next video, we're going to explore the user interface a little bit more. And we're going to take a look at ways that we can program against this web application. I look forward to seeing you then.